A Comox Valley woman who survived nearly a week alone on a remote beach on Haida Gwaii is telling her story. Elaine Campbell was stranded after the skiff she was in capsized and her partner, Fred Wideness, was washed away at sea. As A News reporter Gord Kerber shows us tonight, Wideness remains missing and presumed drowned. But Campbell says he was watching over her, helping her fight for her life. I was started screaming at him. He didn't hear me. The memories are sharp, vivid, and painful. Elaine Campbell describes the final moment she spent alongside her longtime companion, Fred Wideness, after the two had been tossed into the waters off of Haida Gwaii. Then I grabbed that life jacket and I got right over to him. And I was struggling to get the life jacket underneath his neck to lift his head out of the water. Campbell and Wideness had been traveling towards an isolated cove where they planned to spend the day beachcombing and taking photos. But now she was holding her companion in her arms. Finally, I had to let him go. I couldn't hold him any longer. I, could, there, I, I realized that there wasn't anything I could do. Campbell made her way towards the shore and doesn't know how, but believes Fred's spirit and intervention from above helped her high onto a ledge for safety. It went through my head that, I, how did I get here and I'm only in maybe an inch or two of water? It was amazing. But that wasn't the only assistance she believes Fred gave her. She firmly believes he somehow sent her what she needed to survive for the next six days. There was an orange. There was a life jacket. There was a package of cigarettes still in its plastic. And there was the aluminum thermos a little further out with tea in it. She also survived drinking water from a mud puddle and chewing on tall seagrass. Campbell had a Bic lighter in her vest pocket that she used to light a fire. She was also carrying a flare gun that Wideness had always taught her to have with her as protection. Subconsciously, I put it in my pocket. And boy, am I grateful that I put it in my pocket. She had fired off the flare earlier to a passing aircraft with no results. Finally, on the sixth night, she spotted the light of a boat far offshore. Let a flare go off and it just lit up the sky. And the next thing um, I noticed that they had, a, they had a searchlight and it came around. Campbell is now back in the safety of loved ones, but is still mourning the loss of whiteness, who will be the focus of a memorial service on Friday. A trust fund for Campbell has now been established by friends. In Courtney, Gord Kerbis, A News.